My name is Satya Maruti and I'm a relatively new sales engineer at Globecom. Uh, I uh, have a background in satellite technology as well as cellular technology, almost evenly split. And uh, part of what I do at Globecom is to uh, help customers uh, come up with the right solutions uh, for both satellite or wireless or both, depending on what the customer needs are. So the white paper came out of what I've been observing as, as a um, as a necessity in the market. Um, uh, since the dawn of uh, 4G being launched and, and being rolled out, everyone expected a boom in capacity, but what really happened was still 10 times, 100 fold more than what they truly expected. Um, so the need to feed that capacity has been growing rapidly. And with 5G, it's only going to get 100 times worse, quite, quite frankly. Um, so what we have been able to provide uh, to some service providers and to other customers is a path for being able to grow this, especially in uh, being able to grow capacity, excuse me, especially in regions where you don't have fiber, where you don't have very, uh, established terrestrial connections, uh, which is still a significant part of the country. Uh, globally, it's still a significant part of the, of, of the, of the coverage needed. Um, so we have uh, sort of services and solutions that would be able to uh, provide a, a pretty decent sized pipe uh, through using satellite or microwave. Uh, and what we've seen is uh, satellite backhaul has been around for 10 years or so. It's, it's a pretty mature technology, uh, but we're actually seeing a lot more cost effectiveness come through. Uh, the compression technologies have become much more effective. The, the overall cost of the solution has become much more effective and competitive. So when carriers want to look at uh, the middle of the country, they, they want to look at places where you do, fiber may never be an option for the next five to 10 years, uh, it's still viable to look at satellite or microwave combined with satellite. Um, and then there's the additional aspect of uh, the front hall with, with 4G and 5G. Now you have a huge capacity requirement on the front hall, not just the back hall. And again, uh, technologies like microwave and satellite can play a part of that as well. Um, so the paper, so the paper focuses on trying to identify what those issues are. Um, and also providing a solution uh, in terms of technology as well as services that can be rendered to, to meet that divide in capacity. And we expect this, it's pretty bad today, we expect it to get much, much more complicated and worse when 5G rolls up. So we're kind of preparing uh, for, that, for that eventuality. So the announcement focused on uh, some of the details from the white paper. Uh, for the front hall, we are looking, uh, which is basically eCIPRI or CIPRI, we're looking at possible solutions uh, provided through a microwave solution. Um, if satellite makes sense, satellite as well. Um, definitely on the back hall, we're looking at a, a combination of both those solutions uh, and being able to uh, aggregate your capacity at those sites uh, using that. Um, Globecom has a history of providing managed services, a uh, pretty significant history, so it's really adding uh, a couple more uh, applications to that portfolio. Uh, and, and, and we've already had some success with it. Uh, we're hoping to grow that success uh, moving forward. It's still primarily going to be able to provide a bigger capacity in locations where you won't be able to. I mean, they start talking about ubiquitous coverage uh, with 5G. Uh, you definitely need ubiquitous satellite coverage to be able to provide ubiquitous coverage through 5G. Um, so a lot of the data that people will be running, um, uh, a little bit higher latency or low latency with microwave, uh, that will be happening um, over satellite in the next five to 10 years, if not longer for sure. Yeah, absolutely. The, uh, the, the technology has been evolving um, and the economies of scales have been kicking in, uh, specifically with, the, with regards to earth stations and technology on that side. Uh, the satellites are becoming uh, more cost effective themselves. Uh, they, if they make them shorter life, they also make them cheaper to go with that shorter life so they can replace them relatively quickly. Um, but I think if you take an overall satellite system, uh, compared to where we were, say, 15 years ago, compared to now, one, the bandwidth capacity has, has grown 100 fold, while the, the cost has probably come down 50 to 60 fold at the same time. So it's a significant uh, difference in the price, uh, your bank for buck, so to speak, uh, with satellite technology. And that's where the maturity comes in, being able to provide that connectivity in maritime world, on, on planes, as well as in these remote locations where you don't have anything else. The white paper is available on, uh, on the Globecom website. Um, it's called uh, Taming the Capacity Beast, and it's specifically focused on how to uh, provide front haul and cellular, uh, back haul, excuse me, uh, cellular uh, capacity through satellite and microwave.